What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Juju Renee. And today, I'm here to tell y'all, if you can't tell by the title, a story time about my first car accident that I got into about seven or eight months ago, which was like back in September. The exact day was September 23rd. It was like a couple days before I left for my cruise. And I was super scared that I wasn't, be I wasn't gonna be able to go on my cruise. But I went and it was super fun. But before we get into this video, let's get into this top knot bun that I did last night for the first try. Bun can't even fit in the frame, period. But yeah, I did this hairstyle for the first time and it's super cute. I like it on me. Um, I had to make sure I had the top knot look. But if you guys want a video on this hairstyle, comment down below, like this video, and I'll give y'all a tutorial on how I do my top knot bun. Okay, so this tragic, 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 tragic day happened September 23rd, and I was meeting my stepfather to give him his CDs that were left here, that were left in my possession, and I went to meet him about 30 minutes, no, like about 20 minutes away from my house. I leave my house to go meet him, you know, I'm driving, driving safe, not on my phone, not none of that stuff. Um... So I go meet him and I give him his CDs and we sit there and we talk for like five, ten minutes and then I leave and every time I leave my stepdad, he always tells me drive safe. Like he always tells me drive safe. And I always tell him I will. So this time when he told me to drive safe and I said I will, I was being honest because I was driving safe. I went to leave him and... I was driving, I pulled up to like, okay, I don't know how to explain this to y'all because y'all don't live where I live, so you can't really picture what I'm trying to say. Okay, so just picture this like highway, this highway with ongoing traffic, this highway, and there's like a car dealership across the street, and then where I was meeting him at, this food place on the other side of the street. So there's like two sides of the street, highway, oncoming traffic. I come up to the stop sign, I drive up to the stop sign and stop and you know like looking for a space for me to you know drive out into. You know when you're driving and you're turning out somewhere you're supposed to turn in your corresponding lane which I did. So I see a spot for me to turn out and I'm like okay my lane's clear and I see this BMW that's like it's in the net it's in the lane next to my course next to the corresponding lane i'm like okay well i'm gonna just turn in my lane they don't got nothing to do with me that's like they're over there i'm over here so this bmw decides that it wants to get over without a signal like as i'm turning out to go into the ongoing traffic and boom like there was no way for me to back up. There was no way for me to put the car in reverse and be like, oh shoot, let me move out the way real quick. No, like this happened like this. Like I was going to turn out and they were they were coming up their lane and then they got over without a signal and I was already out in the road. Horrible. Obviously this car hit me. Um, I was turning out to the right where I was leaving from and so the way that they hit me they hit me right on my driver's side like front of the car area so when they hit me I was just like what like I actually cussed I was like what the and <laughs> I like everything was just going through my head how I just ruined my car how my car is going to look like crap how I almost just lost my life how I probably maybe I don't freaking know made someone else lose their life I don't know like all this stuff was going through my head once the car hits me and I'm like mad and all this I call my stepdad first because he was like right there he's the first person like he's closest he can come over there and help me I call him and I'm like Kev, I just got in an accident. And he was like, are you serious? I heard that noise. Is that really you? And I was like, yes, it's me. And he was like, okay, Jukai, I'm coming over there. And I was like, okay, everybody's about to be mad at me. And so I call my mom, okay? I call my mother and she doesn't answer the phone. Imagine getting in a car accident. You know, you call your mama for everything. Any small inconvenience in your life, you calling your mama. I'm calling my mama, she didn't answer. And I just immediately started crying because 
<laughs> it's funny now, but it wasn't funny then. I immediately started crying because I was just like, okay, I just got in a car accident. My freaking neck and back was hurting so bad from the force of being hit. My mom didn't answer, so I called her boyfriend. And he answered the phone, and I'm crying. And I'm like, I just got in a car accident. Can you guys, can you guys please come down here and like, you know, come on, come on down here. I got an accident. Mind you, my car, the accident just happened. So like, my car is like in the road. And these, these men that were like driving past, it was like three men. They had got out of the car and they were driving past. And they came over to the car and they asked me, was I okay? And I was like, yeah, I'm okay. And they were like, did you call the police yet? And I was like, no, I didn't call the police. I just called my mom. And one of them were already on the phone calling the police for me. But I had already dialed 911, so I just let them call. I hear an ambulance come and the ambulance is the first people that got there. And then like two more police cars pull up. And the EMS people, whatever, I don't even remember who was asking me all these questions and stuff. I don't know if it was the police officers or EMS, but they were asking me all these questions and they were like, can you move, can you wiggle your toes, can you do this, can you do that? I'm just like, yes, no, my birthday's this, my name's this, da 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 They tell me to unbuckle my seatbelt and to like get out the car and I try to get out of the car and the door is like, like, the door is like, you know, jammed in, I can't get out the car. And so he pull, he's pulling my door, like my car is already ruined and I'm watching this man try to like break my door to get me out of the car. Once he opened the door and I got out, when I tell you my neck and my back was hurting so bad, like from here to the top of my butt was hurting so bad, like I got out the car and I felt like I was damn near 85 years old. So they were like, Let's go get you in the uh, truck. Let's get you checked and stuff. And all I could, all I kept telling them was that my back was tight. Like my, all the muscles, everything in my back just felt like it went like this. They told me that my blood pressure was super high. And I was like, um, uh. And they were like, your adrenaline's running. Your adrenaline is pumping. You probably don't even realize it. You probably don't feel anything that you just went through or anything like that. And I'm like, I'm just out of it. So they do everything that they're supposed to do. We're just sitting there and I'm like, my back is hurting, like literally hurting. And they're asking me, do I want to go to the hospital? After they asked me, did I want to go to the hospital? I was trying to figure out why they were taking forever. But in the other car, there was a man and two nine-year-old girls in that car. And both of our cars were damaged, like really bad. Like their windshield was cracked and all that. I'll insert pictures for you guys. But once they said that there was two nine-year-old girls in the other car, I really was like, oh shoot, like I really hope they're okay. They were asking all of us, did we want to go to the hospital because the man that was driving the other car had airbag burns to his face. And one of the little girls were sitting up front and she had airbag burns like on her arm. And a little girl in the back um, said that her arm was hurting, her something was hurting, I forgot, I forget. What she said was hurting, but something was hurting on her. So all four of us just was messed up. Like everybody was just messed up. So we're all in the um, ambulance truck. I'm the one that was on the stretcher. The man was sitting in like, it looked like a restraining type of chair, but he obviously wasn't being restrained. And then the two little girls were sitting like, if you ever been in an ambulance, there's like a bench that they were sitting on. They take all of us in the ambulance. We were all in, riding in the same ambulance. I don't know if that's normal or whatever, but all four of us were in the same ambulance in the back and we get to the hospital. We go our separate ways. Um, my neck and back was really hurting really bad. And they said that all my, the, all the muscles like around my spine just tensed up from the force like you know, like if someone hits you in a car, you know, your body goes like this and everything was just like, everything was just tore up. They gave me muscle relaxers and I took one and when I got home, honey, I didn't feel a thing. I didn't feel a thing. Body was relaxed, couldn't move. Yeah, I was feeling great. That was like, I can say that the accident, like it happening, is very fast, it's very loud, it's very like what just happened. There's my pieces of my car were freaking in the road, and I'm just looking like, did this really just happen? Like, that's our cars, pieces of our cars in the road, glass, 
just everything. And this happened like in front of ongoing traffic. So all the ongoing traffic behind us had to stop while well, they were going around and they were mad. There was this truck that was mad that we were in the way. Like we can't just move as soon as it freaking happens. Like what? That was the story time of me getting into my first car accident, hopefully my first and my last, which I'm praying for because I never wanna experience that again. And I just wanna tell you guys to always drive safe. Don't be on your phones. Don't have too many people in the car. Don't have people in the car that are gonna make you do things that you shouldn't be doing. Mind you, I was in the car by myself. I feel like if I was with a friend or something, it probably wouldn't have been as bad because we would have had each other there to like calm each other down. There was nobody there to calm me down. I was freaking out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see y'all soon in another video because we got to keep it going, honey. Period.